On February 7, 2024, Revista Italiana Difesa, RID, reported from the World Defense Show that sources confirmed the acquisition of the Russian Panzer S-1 short-range surface-to-air missile systems by the Saudi Armed Forces. This development indicates a diversification in Saudi Arabia's air defense procurement, which has traditionally depended on defense technology primarily from the U.S. and France. The transaction positions Saudi Arabia as the third Gulf nation to procure the Panzer S-1 system, following the United Arab Emirates and Oman. According to RID, the transaction has encountered financial obstacles due to the exclusion of Russian banks from the international SWIFT system, a repercussion of sanctions imposed in response to Russia's actions in Ukraine. The specifics regarding the quantity and configurations of the Panzer S-1 systems procured by Saudi Arabia were not disclosed. The cost of each system is reported to be around $15 million, highlighting their role within the Russian military in protecting vital infrastructure, including air bases and surface-to-air missile systems such as the S-300 and S-400. According to statements posted on Russian social media, Alexander Mikhaev, CEO of Rossiburon Export, mentioned at the World Defense Show 2024 in Riyadh that certain Middle Eastern countries could consider localizing the production of the Panzer air defense system within their territories. This suggests a possibility for cooperation between Russia and Middle Eastern nations, which likely includes Saudi Arabia, to explore the potential for domestic manufacturing of the Panzer system. Saudi Arabia's decision to integrate the Panzer S-1 into its military capabilities reflects the kingdom's existing military infrastructure. The Saudi Armed Forces, with a significant focus on air defense, aim to maintain the country's territorial integrity and internal security and contribute to regional stability. The Air Defense Forces, a specialized branch within the military, comprises 16,000 active personnel and includes six battalions equipped with M902 Patriot Pac-3 missiles, 17 batteries with Shaheen-AMX-30 Su, and 16 batteries with MIM-23 BI Hawk systems, among others. The Panzer S-1 system, recognized by its NATO reporting name SA-22 Greyhound, is designed to counter a variety of aerial threats such as aircraft, helicopters, drones, precision munitions, and cruise missiles. Its automated operation and radar capabilities are intended to enhance detection and engagement efficiency, contributing to the protection of military and strategic sites. The acquisition of the Panzer S-1 by Saudi Arabia is notable in the context of global military technology, especially considering there is no direct equivalent in NATO arsenals. The system's deployment is intended to complement the extensive range of air defense capabilities already possessed by the kingdom. Historically, the Gepard anti-aircraft self-propelled gun system developed by Germany in the 1960s served a somewhat similar role within NATO, although it is based on a different operational concept. The Panzer S-1, also recognized under the NATO reporting name SA-22 Greyhound, is a Russian-made air defense system combining missile and artillery capabilities to defend military installations, industrial sites, and troop formations from aerial threats. This system is designed to counter a broad range of targets such as aircraft, helicopters, drones, precision-guided munitions, and cruise missiles, making it suitable for protecting vital assets and supporting air defense operations across different military branches. The system incorporates advanced automation and radar technology to improve operational efficiency and provide comprehensive situational awareness. Its radar capabilities enable the detection and tracking of both aerial and ground threats, offering extensive defensive coverage. The automation within the system aims to reduce operator workload, potentially leading to faster response times against incoming threats.